He says, cover those who I have raised up to speak for me. It is amazing because what troubles me in the body of Christ, what troubles me in this nation today, as, as, as in the natural, so is in the spirit. I hate the news media because the news media is constantly trying to assassinate leaders and destroy their reputations that nobody will follow them. And the same thing is now happening in the church. I got uh, my daddy, Bishop Jakes, got, uh, we have this wonderful assembly and, and publicly many acknowledging how much they love them, but they got, he got some big time haters. There are folk that are dropping at the bits, waiting for him to fall, warning him to fall, warning some gossip, warning some information, warning to uncover something so I can kill his reputation that he's not able to speak to the word that God has ordained for him to speak. I'm here to tell you, there are some folk that are waiting for you and laying traps for you and trying to find out where you're vulnerable. Please understand, as we lead and bleed, we also cry. I'm going to say that again. As we lead and bleed, we also cry. And there's no problem with crying. Just make sure you cry with the right person. You can't cry with everybody. You don't have that many friends. And most of your friends ain't that close to you physically. You're not getting that. That means that you done fooled yourself. You got to be very, very, very careful because many people that are real close to you are not growing like the ones that are far away from you. That's the reason why you're confounded by why is it that it seems like they're not where I am? It is because they're too close to the fountain. You got to understand this. If you ever see a fountain, the water shoots up and then it goes over. All those that are around the nozzle don't get wet. There's too many folk around you that never get wet. They're too busy doing stuff that they don't hear you. Every once in a while, you got to rotate and shift some folk in and some folk out. And when you send them back out, if they leave, they wouldn't call to you anyway. But sometimes you got to make them sit again and get wet again that they can cover you. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody. Follow me for a moment. I'm going somewhere. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The pastor, Aaron, cannot minister, please understand this, in glory and beauty without covering. You got to hear this. And the garment is made by the people who are wise-hearted. God would not receive the anointed worship unless the people of wise hearts would cover the priest. Now you got to catch this. Cover his or her nakedness. One of the problems with us who lead is that not only do we have to have the responsibility of leading, at the same time we got the responsibility of watching. Watching that we don't expose too much of us to those who walk around us because they don't know how to cover us and as soon as they find out we're not God. I like to tell you something, there's certain folk that can't walk with you. There are certain folk, you'll mess up their relationship with God if you bring them too close. Because they have to sit at all at a distance because if they find out occasionally you have gas. If they find out occasionally you speak in a language of tongue that they do understand. If they find out that you're still being processed too then they'll start to lose respect and make you common and mess up what God. You need somebody that can look at you and say that yet we have this treasure in an earthen vessel. Gotta catch this, gotta catch this. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Watch this. Because whenever something is uncovered, it loses its anointing. 
Hmm. <laughs>